Okay. All right, guys. Wonderfully made page 70 in your religion book. Wonderfully made. What does wonderful mean? Troy? Amazing. Wow. I can't believe that. I'm so happy I got this. I'm wonderful. Just think. God made Earth the perfect place for us to live. The world was has just the right amount of oxygen and water for us. The earth is positioned perfectly from the sun to support life. It spins just at the right speed to keep us aboard. God made this wonderful place for us to live. God's perfect design extends to plants and animals too. Flowers open at the best time of the day. God made elephants with legs that bend forward to help them rise from the ground easily. I want you to take a minute, and in that box on page 70, draw a few of your favorite plants and animals that God has made, wonderfully made. Page? On page 70, on the big white box, draw your favorite plants or animals that God has made. Huh? Can you draw what? If you want. Last talking, more drawing. I'll give you a few more minutes. Or a few. I'm drawing a piece of corn. I'm drawing a piece of corn with a knife. In your own seats. Stay in your seats. Let me see the big dot. It's got a weird dot. <laughs> let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Guys, in your own seats. What kind of plants and animals did you draw? Does anybody want to share? Troy, what you draw? Corn and a deer. Micah? I did a snake and an apple tree. A snake and an apple tree? Jack? A dog and corn. Dog and a corn? Uh, I guess it's not a corn, but it would be corn. <laughs> uh, Jacob? Okay. I have one. What would you draw, Johnny? A, a rose, corn, wheat. Rose, corn, and wheat. Anybody else wants to share? Jess? An apple tree and a cat. Bentley? Wheat? Uh -huh. God made our bodies, just like he made those plants and animals that you drew with amazing things, he made our bodies with amazing abilities, too. Did you guys know you have acid in your stomach that dissolves food and is so strong that it can dissolve metal? Because of that, your body makes a new stomach lining every three days. Did you know that you have over 60,000 miles of blood vessels in your body? That's far enough to travel from New York to San Francisco 20 times. Did you know that the marks on your fingertips are called fingerprints? And that no one else in the world has the same prints as you? 
and that they never change over your lifetime? They stay the same forever? Or your fingerprints. Same size forever? No, your prints on your fingerprints, your whirls and swirls and how it's made is unique to you. Yeah. Nobody else has the same oh, ones. Yeah. I want you to take a minute and write a thank you prayer to God for making your wonderful body and our wonderful planet. So take a minute and write your own thank you prayer on that line. All right, let's look at the word study box. And the word in that word study box is iniquity. Has anybody heard that word before? Yeah. Do you guys know what it means? Yeah. It means sin, sin and wickedness. You're, right. Yep. Where do we say that in church every week? Do you guys know? Towards the beginning. Holy Bible? Of the church service in the confession when we ask God to forgive us our iniquities, right? Our sin, our wickedness, we want God to forgive those things. I am going to read to you Psalm 103, and while I read it, you are going to listen specifically to verses 2 and 3, and verse 4 and verse 5. And you have to write the gifts that you hear in those verses. So, because God, do you remember the greatest presents you ever received? Was it for your birthday? Maybe Christmas? How do you feel when you saw it? Huh? Happy? God loves you so much that he gave you the greatest gift, his son, Jesus. And Jesus and gives us even more. Yep, he opens more gifts for God. So let's hear in verses 2 and 3. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all iniquity and heals all diseases? So what two gifts did you hear? Iniquity. In Troy? Heals what? Heals. He forgives sin. Oops. In the gift box with verse 2, 3. And heals. No. Heals sin and heals disease. Yeah, or you can write iniquity. If you don't want to write sin, you can use that big word. I would rather use sin because it's tinier. All right. Verse four. Uh, sin, wicked, and wickedness. 103, okay. Chapter 4, verse 4, or verse 4. Who redeems your life from the pit 
who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. So, yep, that's one of the gifts we get. We get redeemed. This is verse 4. From the pit. He also crowns with said fast love and mercy. This is the yellow one. In case you're wondering. If you can fit it, you should. Is yours greenish in your book? Yeah. Okay. Ready? The orange box, this, you're listening for the gift. Who satisfi satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Yep, satisfies you with good. And he renews youth. On the bottom it says, what kind of God gives these gifts? Read verse 8. You ready? The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. So what kind of God gives these gifts? God who is merciful and gracious I'll move in a minute Troy slow to anger and abounding Instead, fast love. Tomorrow's voice verse I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. it, you know, the Bible has verses that are similar. 